Last week, our American reporter, Z. Wright, visited the most important computer and video game show in the world. Held every year in Las Vegas, it features everything from washing machines to home cinema. But Z concentrated on games and gadgets. Here's his report. Hi, and welcome to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world and the venue for the huge consumer electronics show, or CES for short. This is the place where all the video game producers get to show off their latest and hottest stuff. Nintendo is very big in America. Their exhibits take up a whole room. The game that everybody wants to play now is Star Fox, a new revolutionary game. Let's check it out. It's revolutionary because it contains an extra microprocessor called the Super FX chip inside the game cartridge. This means that the Super Nintendo can perform better than ever before. The game has 3D graphics, and while you're playing, the Super FX chip redraws the screen moment by moment. This makes the gameplay very fast and fluid. Oh man, the graphics are unbelievable. It's hard. This is mad hard. You play Fox McCloud, a space mercenary out to save the universe. Three routes take you to ten different planets. There's also a couple of secret levels built in, especially for expert players. This summer, Game Boy fans on both sides of the Atlantic have a chance to play their first ever Zelda game, Link's Awakening. In this game, the hero Link, familiar to Super Nintendo players, will have to battle his way through a large world of dungeons, secrets, and adventures. There's lots of old characters here, plus some new ones too. <laughs> Yo, Z, how you doing? Fine, Mario, what's new with you? Hey, have you and the guys at Bad Influence heard about my first movie, Super Mario Brothers? It's out in May, and I'm the star, played by Bob Hoskins, you know? Yeah, we've heard about it, but we haven't seen anything of it. Oh, yeah? Well, just take a look at this. Mario! Luigi! Come on! You wanna give us the uh, rock back, lady? Come and get it, big boy. <laughs> to go after her. Yeah, for a date, not into another world. Alien species escaping from Metro Oh, we gotta deal with aliens too? Luigi, we're the aliens! This is the activator, an eight-sided floor pad which creates an invisible wall of infrared light. When a beam is broken, it makes a musical chord. Sega has invented a way to play video games, not with a controller pad, but using your whole body. I'm playing Streets of Rage 2 like I've never played it before. The activator translates my movements into the movements of my character, Axel. When I kick, Axel kicks too. Different and definitely not for couch potatoes. Yeah. Oh. 3DO is basically an interactive CD system, but the word is, it's set to become a standard format like audio cassettes or VHS. So, what does it do? Well, it does a lot. This is a prototype multiplayer. It'll play regular audio CDs, photo CDs, and games. 3DO can move graphics around much quicker than a PC. Here's the proof. It can store and manipulate pictures in a number of ways. It can add many layered backgrounds and foregrounds, both matte and see-through. Here I can move the figure around using the joypad and alter the perspective. These techniques are being developed for interactive movies on 3DO machines. 3DO will be launched in America in October and in Britain in April 94. These demos just show the basic abilities of the system, so there's a way to go but the possibilities are endless. I'm gonna take this for a little war. Oh. This is Z-Rite for Bad Influence in Las Vegas. See ya.